Hi everyone, welcome back to our Pokemon Crystal In the last episode, we made it through the 8th gym, got the badge. Uh, we also found a Master Ball in the Dragon's Den, and then we flew back to New Bat Town to press our own. We gave us another Master Ball, which means that we found two legendaries. Um, we can catch them instantly. The Dugong. The same. And it's been picky with encounters, but I don't think the gong's better than Blastoise or for Alligator. Which are the two like water types we've got. It is part ice, which is is a little bit better. Does seem to be quite common, but I'm say no. But yes, yeah, so we got that badge and then we found a one master ball when getting the uh going through the dragon's den before being told to fly back to New Bart Town by uh, Professor Elm. First steps into Kanto. Awesome. Yeah, gotta go through the yeah, gotta go through the Tojo balls. I need to see each water ball. Now it's all water ball. Uh, teach it. Tank. I'm gonna get rid of fight. We're not gonna need it. Um, we can move. Oh, Soldier Falls Encounter. Gramble, normal type. Not gonna need it. So just use it for XP. Because we're like double the levels, so not much should just stand in our way. And we'll slide back down and do a total falls. Route to different, uh, not a different route yet. Oh, first train of battle. Because we'll be heading to Victory Road. Has a start of one Marty, a little forty. Confusion of the should you shut the ball. Oh, you use confusion. That's kind of annoying a little bit. We break through confusion. Yes, we do. Shadow ball, which is the move I probably should have used. Probably would have one hit Zat Zatu. Electrode will switch to Veal because we've got the ground defense and so it can't use its electric moves. And it now also knows Earthquake. We just use Roller, which is one. We use EQ. You shoot logically, yeah. One hits it. Uh, and Nidoran will just stay and do the same. That's that trainer defeated. Another item. Okay, it's not a new encounter yet, but it's not changed. We'll still be able to catch anyone if it's a duplicate. Across the bridge. I mean, I could have surfed past this bridge. Looking at it, but. It'd be a good, good way to just make sure we fight all the trainers. Because I don't know if there's any trainers in the. I can't remember if there's any trainers in the Elite Fall. In, in, in the Elite Fall, the um, in Victory Road itself. I think it's on the arrival thing. It's an unveil. A Mercro is that type and it's effective. B is a line with use Rock Go. Probably won't one hit? No. Did a fair bit of damage. 
Bet it was 16. Well, it's really good having a bulky Pokemon. Because Veal can just uh, tank hits and. Especially against poison types, it just. They can't use Toxic, which just makes it so much better. So the only thing I have to work for, worry about is flinches from like, like an hour block using bite. Like a quick should then respond with a one hit. Level 43. Shit. It's not the quickest of Pokemon. Oh, so I fought one over until I the other. Even this one Pokemon is fine. He's a Dratini. Um, use Shadow Ball. This one here, the Jersey Net, that was just going to survive with a Slither. But... None of these trainers are avoidable. Uh, Pseudo Wudo. I can't remember what it's typing. He's going to be using see what Fusion does. Fusion is a decent bit, we can fuse it to hit itself. Not use Rock Side. Rock Side's going to do 27. Do 27, which isn't bad damage. Uh, Zubat will switch for the wheel again to use Rock, rock Barrel. Um, probably will one hit because Zubat's not as strong as Mercro. Indeed, it does. And Executor, so we'll switch to Zard for the Flamethrower. It's really good having a well balanced team. It makes our cells quite bulky, so I expected it. I didn't expect it. I wasn't sure that that was going to one hit. So we're now in a different mood. I think we're getting to the final challenge to follow the victory, victory right now. Togepi, got Persian, don't really have a fighting type Pokemon so we're going to stay in. And you hit Confusion. So you can a bite which is quite strong but we are faster so it should be fine. Indeed it is, level 46. Uh, Victory Bell will switch for Zard. Flame Thrower. Uh, the only one that's uh, maybe not going to be in the Victory is probably Squiggle. That might do for them, we have can put Pokemon to sleep if in this case of it's really hurting us. Yeah, free heal. Figured there'd be a free heal around. There was a lot past enemies. Well, enemies for air. Uh, opposing trainers. I'm blocking that one. I don't think that was in, but I don't think that was avoidable given how close you got to get to to get to the door. We have had some luck with some of the trainers not having really strong Pokemon. We have had some decent luck. A 
crit the Oddish. And our victory road encounter is... A hollow. Hey. There's no... Question. Master Ball. There's no question, we're catching a hollow. We're catching a hollow. I'm gonna call it rainbow. That's really good. It does seem that we just get to walk through Victory Road. But that's that's a good encounter. I like, couldn't really use my uh, hypnosis one either because it would just use like one flame, one, one uh, flame attack, and it'd probably one hit. So it could have been a lot of that, which wouldn't have been terrible, but not as good as the whole. Other. Probably just lots of repels, but I didn't. Oh, I am. A gold berry. Um, a chinchu. A moon. Uh, I don't know if I'm the wrong way. Oh no. So he realized you should have bought our followers given the amount of encounters I have. But yeah. See Ho could come onto the team in place of Squiggle. Because it's really good. Doesn't see I mean they removed the uh, border puzzle for Victory Road. In Gen 1 you got the border puzzle, you got to push uh, borders into switches which um, freeze off areas. But, must have removed it. Go to the enemies, an antidote. Um, continue to go around. But yeah. That's a really good encounter. The nice moose that'll be. Like, right. a little 34. Um, I think I've got to up and, I think I've got to go up and round. I think. I'm trying to remember how to get through Victor Road. This way, I want to say. Yeah, there we go. Because we have taken our level. Don't know what our levels would be. It could be higher, it could be far higher, higher, higher level than us. Starts off with a spin arc. No, we're going to be about, we're going to be about the same. Well, ish. Miss confusion on the spin arc. Cost is a one hit. If it had been um, an Ariados, maybe it would have been closer, but it wasn't a far fetched, which is, I want to say, normal grass. So I'll switch to Zard for Flamethrower. That should be normal type. It is, it uses Stars Dance, but we are faster. That would be scary if we were in a slower Pokemon, but because we're enough great, we're a little faster. It's not as scary. 
as that goes. Um, reveals the obvious switch because it's electric. Uh, just use agility which boosts which it's always going to be faster. But I think it only might only have at this level it might only have agility that it will be able to use. Uh, agility and detect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it's probably gonna use agility as many times as possible. We've got we've got ten rock goes left. It hangs on, it uses the tech, which means rock throw misses. Can't use agility, we finish it. Because it can only use agility in the because it can't use electric moves and it knows that. So it basically uses its two moves that it can loop, it can use. You know, it's really funny. So it's really good having like a type advantage like that over like an electric type. We use waterfall. Um, Daily Bird, we'll stay in. Daily Bird tends to have um, present as its only move, which at times is either really good or really bad. Or, or a lot of times it does miss. We strength again. Uh, coughing, which is poison, we'll switch back to. Veal because it can't use like toxic. Yeah, we can't hit it with earthquake, but we can still hit it with slam. Let's use smart screen, which does knock our accuracy in a little bit. We we'll land, we we'll land next slam. Ooh, it has Destiny Bond. Um, I think a smart switch is just something that we don't mind if we accidentally it's if it uses it. So we're going to switch to Squiggle. I want to put it to Sleep. It should. Well, it's got one turn to see. I want to heal whatever. You don't have any damage. Um, let's we're gonna need an X defend. Okay, it will be used smoke screen. We'll land a vine work. Just trying to get around the destiny bond. That's pretty smart. Let's get around the destiny bond. Put it to sleep. Just put it to sleep. It means you can't use it. And then we just that that like, still asleep means Destiny Bond goes away. You're trying to remove all your power. And now, we're at the Elite Four. And that'll be, of course, where we end today's episode. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Until next time, see ya!